What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with another top 10 video for you guys as we round out our year of 2022. An amazing year for WWE, an amazing year for WWE and Mattel. Action figures, wrestling action figures in general. The golden era, the renaissance of wrestling action figures is upon us, and we've discussed that a little bit here. With AEW, all these third-party companies, man, so much stuff around right now that you can get in the world of wrestling action figures is just simply incredible it really is but you guys know that i enjoy top tens i enjoy rankings i enjoy these action figures so much man you guys know at the end of the year i gotta do my top 10 wwe elites i gotta do my top 10 wwe elites we did a full video breaking down probably the best overall wrestling action figures of the year you know we did elites we did my top 10 ultimates we did my top 10 aew figures but today it is all about the elites the mattel wwe elite line that has gone almost 100 series i mean it's pretty much 100 series now we we know what they look like we know they're coming but today we're going to rank my top 10 wwe elites of the year all of these right here are my honorable mentions these are not my top 10 so if you guys see some figures here that are shocking that are not in the top 10 you can let me know down in the comment section below but i wanted to quickly run through these real quick before we get into my personal top 10 but of course you guys know likeness excitement level for the figure how well the figure feels in hand how much does the figure replicate to the character in real life accessories head skull i mean all kinds of things go into the ranking there but elite 98 randy orton was just simply phenomenal it's kind of a repaint but the head sculpt was damn good not my favorite gear ever it's kind of a redo on the gear elite 78 randy orton for the most part but the head sculpt's phenomenal it's a great randy orton figure elite 95 cena another beautiful figure there elite 96 brock basically an elite conversion of the ultimate which was my favorite ultimate of the year not enough to get him on the top 10 this year this hurricane not being in the top 10 is honestly just sickening to me the legends line brought us a lot of bangers this year and the hurricane was one of the best legends figures we saw this year elite 96 hogan another beast of a figure again we kind of saw it in the ultimate edition line multiple times so it's kind of just an elite equal kind of to an ultimate that we got this year ruthless aggression ray mysterio great figure there you guys can also see the batman ray mysterio top talents and then the pink and black top talents one of the rules of this countdown is that you can only feature one figure per superstar so that is you know the reasoning why there's three rays here represented i couldn't put them all on there you guys know how good they feel in the hand but i couldn't in all good consciousness put all those in the top 10 i mean ray mysterio has some of the best figures out there he probably would have rounded out the whole top 10 if i was just giving you know the top 10 all to ray mysterio but chainsaw charlie is a great figure as well very very underrated just the head sculpt just kind of held him back a little bit there i love all the sculpts and stuff elite 98 balor was great hated the daniel bryan legs though couldn't put him on the top 10 and then a repaint of my personal favorite figure last year in the elites was the ruthless aggression rvd but just because you repaint my favorite figure from last year doesn't mean you make the top 10 this year brad so yeah that's a quick rundown of all these figures here but let's shut the hell up dive into my top 10 i'll give you guys all my reasoning behind the top 10s and you guys can let me know down below what your personal top 10 is or maybe what your personal favorite wwe elite action figure was this year but let's get into my personal top 10 wwe elites of 2022 <laughs> number 10 spot man is the survivor series elite ultimate warrior a figure that kind of took me by surprise i just think that it just looks so good man really great head sculpt i think it really captures warrior nicely double jointed arms great looking gear he even has the sculpted stuff on the sides of the crotch piece like the silver boots just an all-around great looking figure and i'm not a big warrior guy but this is one of his best elites i think it, it really does stand out to me the white gear is very nice i think the dry brushing hair detail is nice and again i'm not an ultimate warrior guy but this figure really stood out to me when we first got the survivor series set and i like it a lot i like it a whole lot and i, th I think it looks damn good so i put ultimate warrior survivor series elite at my number 10 spot number nine i have the legends wwe elite target exclusive farouk figure a great looking figure i love the formula i like the way the skin tone looks the head sculpt is pretty much just a, a true effects version of the elite 38 but i think just the hairline looks great and spot on this is a fantastic figure and a figure that i've been waiting on for a long time i wanted acolytes of farouk and bradshaw for a long time this figure crushes the bradshaw the bradshaw unfortunately has a terrible formula oversized head sculpt this one pretty much nails it i love the bicep 
bands, you know, not, you know, not the most over the top craziest figure of all time, but a figure I was waiting on and I think they absolutely nailed it and being a huge fan of Farouk over the years, just it, it really did a lot of joy for me. It brought a lot of joy to me and I, I love looking at this figure on the shelf and it's one that kind of just snuck up on me and got into that top 10 and I, I enjoy this figure a lot, man. So you could probably get it for clearance right now and then that's a steal, man. Go grab the Farouk Legends Elite Target exclusive figure. the number eight spot is the Elite Series 98 Rick Boogs, man, and I have been one that gives Rick Boogs a hard time. You know, I was never a big fan of the guy, but damn what a great looking figure, man. It just really captures him greatly. I love the soft goods top there, and usually I'm not one for the rubber molds, you know, but I think it's great. I love how you have the two-in-one with the man bun or the ponytail and the removable ponytail for the updated look. The headband, spot on head sculpt. I think it's a great build for the guy. I like all the sculpts we're getting. The attire is nice. It is a great looking figure. Very toyetic looking character as well. Came with the guitar. Just an overall really fun figure, man. And a guy that I would not expect to be in my top 10 whatsoever. Just kind of, again, snuck up on me, man. I remember when we reviewed Elite 98. He, come in at the, he came in at the number one spot for the Elite ranking. And here he is. I, I thought that it was a great year for Rick Boogs' his figure here. We got the Chase variant version. This one's slightly better in my opinion. I think it has more detail, more, you know, kind of layers to the character. Character layers to the, to the figure there, so. I like the rig books a lot. He came in at my number eight spot. Coming in at number 7 is the Elite 92 Adam Cole. A figure that is typically too short, but I did switch out the legs here. And with that fix up, I, I, there's also a shirt on there, but this figure's phenomenal. The best Adam Cole figure you can buy right now. I think that it beats the hell out of the Unrivaled figure. I think that it's so damn good. It's honestly kind of criminal that he's number 7, but we just had so many great Elites this year that he got beat out. But still a very quality figure and one that I could not leave out of my top 10. Great gear as well. Beautiful chase figure. This is one that I love. I love Adam Cole. I love this figure. I think it's phenomenal. The head sculpt is chef's kiss. And while he's not the most over-the-top toyetic, I think when you can encapture a person from, you know, screen to action figure, that's going to get a lot of brownie points for me. my number six spot was a figure that really shocked the hell out of me, man. He is big and he is awesome. You have the Omos Elite 97 from Mattel. Beautiful looking head sculpt. Great torso and parts choices. I think that he is massive. I think that it really encaptures Omos here. And I know we had his basic figure, which is also a solid looking basic. This Omos is just really fun to pose around. You wouldn't expect to get a lot out of him, but with the double jointed arms, decent little ab crunch in there. The legs feel great. I like the new shoes slash boot mold they got. He's got plenty of articulation. Feels really good in the hand. And all of those tick a lot of boxes for me. The figure feels really quality in the hand. It's a heavy piece. It is a beast. And I, again, not a fan of the character in real life for real though, but Jesus, man. This is a great action figure. It feels really good in the hand. Really fun to pose around. If you guys don't have this one, I would highly recommend it. I think he came in at number one in our Elite 97 ranking. So, you know, a lot of figures like that will end up being in the top 10 of the year. If it, if it was the best figure in the set and we only get, you know, eight sets in a year, more than likely those number one figures are going to be in our top 10. So this almost figure knocked it out of the park this year. Alright guys, getting into our top five, we are at the number five spot with the WWE Elite Legends Target exclusive Kane, the second Legends figure from Target that we have on this list. I honestly thought this figure would be higher, but it's just so good, man. This is a brand new head sculpt. They gave him the double jointed massive arms here, a look of Kane that a lot of people have wanted redone. We've gotten a few iterations of it, but it never quite hit the nail on the head, but this time they knocked it out of the park. I just really think the only thing holding these Kane Elites back now is that the torso is not quite there. The Ultimates are pretty much perfect, I think. The Ultimate Canes that we've gotten, the couple of those, is perfect. I think those are perfect, but these are missing something. I think the Elites, to really get it over the top, I mean, I love this figure in general, but I think that torso size is the only thing really keeping it out of that, you know, top three, top two slot, and that is why he did not quite make it up to the highest point of the top ten, but it's still a damn good figure, a figure I really, really enjoy. Kind of still here and there but really captures Kane perfectly and he had to be in my top five this is a beautiful looking Kane 
Coming in at our number four spot is the WrestleMania 39, WrestleMania 18 rock figure. A lot of people probably scratching their heads at this decision, but if you guys saw the review, if you guys saw some different things where I'm talking about this figure, I love this figure. I mean, it is like you ripped the rock right out of the early 2000s. What a perfect rock figure. The formula is chef's kiss. The head sculpt is the best rock head sculpt, I think, to this day. It's definitely top three rock head sculpts ever. It is so good. I just think it's like you ripped him right out of a, a wrestling episode. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it looks so damn good to me. It captures that likeness perfectly. I love this rock figure. Anytime that Mattel can take a look of a guy off a TV screen and make him into plastic action figure form, it's hard to deny. This rock figure is just so damn good. And again, I love it. I, I love this rock figure. Probably my favorite rock elite they've made to this day. It is so good. I, I just cannot get over it. I'm really waiting on a sweat pants or jogging pants with you know just bring it white t-shirt that's what i'm waiting on with this head sculpt on it but at the end of the day this rock figure is is fantastic i love it man this is great stuff coming in at my number three spot is the top talents Rey mysterio now this as many of you guys know, was the year of the Rey Mysterio Elite. We got so many Rey Mysterio Elites this year. It was like seven or eight. I swear to God, it was so many. Elite 92, two different top picks, Royal Rumble Elite, Ruthless Aggression Elite, SummerSlam Elite. I mean, they were throwing Rey Mysterios at us like it was going out of style, but this one rose above the rest in the Macho Man inspired gear. The pink, the yellow, the white, the black, all ties in beautifully. I honestly think with all of the bells and whistles, this figure might be the best Rey Mysterio action figure to ever be produced and I mean that with everything in me this figure poses around great feels amazing in the hand looks just like Rey phenomenal head sculpt phenomenal posability phenomenal attire just all of the all of the all of the above checks every single box you could possibly imagine how is it not number one I honestly don't even know myself it is so good it is unbelievable a lot of people would just call it a repaint with a decent looking head sculpt and that would be okay with me but you cannot deny greatness this Rey Mysterio is the is the the shit. It is the shit, and you need to go purchase. Add this figure to collection, sell off the rest of your rays, and buy this one. Coming in at number two is one of my favorite current wrestlers, man. Elite 99 Seth Rollins. I mean, from the neck down, this figure's pretty much perfection. The formula was great. I like the gear. I think the dry brush detail on the tights was great. The jacket really sets this thing over the top with that faux fur and the white leather. You have the sculpted detail on the kick pads, which stands out very much. I love the newly sculpted kick pads. They look phenomenal. Again, a great looking formula. The only thing really keeping this guy from number one is the head sculpt. I could not, in all great consciousness, put this figure at the number one figure or WWE Elite of the year. Knowing that it had this Elite 45 head sculpt on it, I could not do it. I could not put an Elite that has a head sculpt on it that is 54 Elite Series old into the number one spot. I just could not do it. The only thing keeping this guy from number one, and honestly, I go back and forth between number one and number two for this figure. It is really good. I know that we just recently got it, so I know a lot of people, you might say recency bias, but this figure is damn good. It poses around really well. It looks phenomenal. It is one of the best Seth elites, I think. It's just that head sculpt keeps it from the number one spot, but this Seth Rollins is amazing. I think you should get your hands on it. Very toyetic. Shh stands out heavily on a shelf it is it is very damn good just switch that head skull and my personal number one wwe elite action figure of 2022 is going to the elite 99 brock lesnar man i love this figure so much i've had so much fun posing this guy around i love the uniqueness of it i love the head sculpt on it i know it's the elite 96 head sculpt but i think it's properly used here love the cowboy hat the overall sculpt with the flannel cut off. Just an amazing figure, man. I really hate I never got my Amazon 3-pack Brock. I think that it probably would have been in this place, maybe. I don't know. You know, just a lot of different things, but I just love how unique this figure is. It is so fun, so outside the box, and it feels phenomenal. It really replicates Brock Lesnar. It has just been a fantastic year for Brock Lesnar action figures. Probably the best year for him ever, obviously. He had the Elite 99, the Elite 99 Chase, the Ultimate Edition, which was my number one Ultimate Edition of the year. The Ruthless Aggression 
Fashion Elite, Elite 96, the Amazon 3-pack. I mean, they were pumping Brock out a lot, and I think all of his figures this year were just so standout, man. They were so good, so fantastic, and this one really takes the cake for me. Again, you could probably switch around the top three or four. Given what day it is, I may change my mind and go back and forth on it, but for today, Elite 99 Brock Lesnar does reign at the number one WWE Elite Series figure of the year. Truly phenomenal, truly incredible, just an absolute beast of a figure, and I do mean that with every bit of sense of a pun. But that is going to wrap up my top 10 WWE Elites of the year, man. Had a ton of fun this year. Again, Mattel absolutely crushed it. I mean, all the wrestling figure companies crushed it, to be honest with you, but I think 2023 is going to be even bigger, even better, and I can't wait for it, man. It should be really bigger and better for the channel as well. Again, lots of great things planned this year that I'm excited about, and it just keeps getting better, man. Love you guys so very much. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your number one WWE Elite down in the comment section below, but I'm getting out of here, man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. You cross